Godfrey, the first Elden Lord and in my opinion one of the most challenging boss fights in all of Elden Ring. That was until today when I figured out a pretty solid strategy to absolutely destroy him with little to no effort. Let's get into it. <laughs> So all you're going to need for this cheese is the Blasphemous Blade, mine is level 10, obviously the higher the better. I also recommend using some strong talismans to buff your damage. I'll be rolling with the Ritual Sword Talisman, Godfrey's Icon, Fire Scorpion Charm, and the Shard of Alexander. Don't actually think the Godfrey's Icon buffs this weapon, but oh well. Also going to be using my favorite, the Blood Boil Aromatic, it gives an extra 30% damage increase for 60 seconds which is a buttload. I also have the Flame Shrouding Crack Tier and the Stone Barb Crack Tier to boost stun and fire damage. Now I will be making use of the Mimic Tier of course, so I'll be using Shaburi's Woe to start off the fight and then I'll swap it out for one of my other talismans. This is of course to ensure that Godfrey stays focused on my Mimic and not me. Now if you haven't tried to fight Godfrey yet, he is going to rush you and kill you, so I'm going to walk in and let that happen and then I'll commence the cheese strategy on round two. Alright, so we're ready to get going, I'm going to down all those buffs and step into the arena. Now I'm going to summon that Mimic and unequip Shibiri's Woe and replace it with my Ritual Sword Talisman, which of course requires me to be full health to take effect. So I'll move off to the side so that the Mimic can have the spotlight and I'll heal up when it is safe to do so. So you want to wait until the Mimic and Godfrey are fighting and then just spam your weapon art. Whether or not you have all the buffs that I do, it shouldn't really matter, he will still die very quick. If you do have the buffs that I do, it just turns this into overkill. So when the second phase begins, you want to run straight away to avoid that initial attack, and then just repeat what you were doing right before. Now be careful of his stomp attacks because they will hit you even if he's not aiming at you, but it shouldn't be too hard to finish him off like you did in phase one. Now I hope this video helps, like and sub if it did, and check out my other boss cheeses if you're ever stuck on a boss. Take care my friends, and peace.